I've got a few uh, questions from people uh, asking about how do you assign the knobs on a Futaba 8FG uh, to control the tail gain and to control the real-time tuning if they elect to do so uh, once they once they start getting into their optimization of the system and um, this so I'm going to show you how to, to the easiest way that I'm aware of there may be another way but this is how I set the knob if I choose to use the knob uh, in the tail gain uh, menu as well as setting up real-time tuning to use with the model and with the heli command hc3sx so if you go to the to the diagnose page um, and uh, let me go ahead and turn on my model actually uh, if you go to the diagnose page and you see that um, I've got my tail gain working right now uh, the tail gyro is I'm just using the regular gyro screen you can see that slider uh, right over here you can see that move up and down as I move the control um, that's just using the standard uh, that's the gyro menu within the transmitter so all I'm doing is just raising this value up and down on the rudder channel uh, the way to set that if you wanted to uh, to use this knob up here let me go ahead and move the camera down a little bit Okay, if you want to use the, any one of the knobs, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this left-hand knob, it's called LD. The way you set that is if you go into your gyro menu, it shows you the gyro menu right here, and you select um, rudder, enter on that, and come down to fine tuning. Uh, this is the easiest way that I've found, you just select fine tuning, and choose your knob, in this case I'm, I'm going to say LD. And then I turn this tuning percentage all the way up to 20, uh, which just gives me the greatest range. And then uh, when you actually turn the knob up here, I'm going to turn it left and right. You'll see that as I add a value down here on the bottom, it's also changing the value here, um, which which is core, it's actually turning the dial on the software as well. I'll move the camera up there and show you that. So as I move the knob up here on the radio, you can watch this on the tail gyro. It's also adjusting that right there. So all I did was add the add the LD knob to the fine tuning portion of the tail gyro or the rudder gyro uh, page. Now, uh, if you want to go in now and use that same knob for real time tuning, all you're going to do is uh, once you've once you've selected your let's say I'm using 50% uh, for my tail gyro gain I'm gonna go into tail gyro I'm gonna go over here to the gain and make sure that it's the same value so if we were on diagnose and I went out flying and, and my perfect tail was uh, say it was 60% 61 whatever then you could come back over here to tail gyro this still says 50 so I would change this to 61 or 60 uh, and then and then write that to the unit and then now your tail gain is saved in the default tail setting uh, default tail gyro gain value so now you want to use that knob to go and adjust uh, your real-time tuning you click on real-time tuning let's say you want to do the P portion of your rigid gain which is uh, this is the same thing that's talked about in the official heli command uh, video I believe you go to the rigid menu on, on this uh, menu here and you select P portion and then you say OK change and this is going to tell you that it's assigning this parameter to your tail gyro page now so as we zoom in a little bit um, I'm going to select the P portion I'm going to say OK to change and now when I go back to my diagnose tab and I move that knob on the radio you'll see that the real-time tuning value has changed and what happens when you have this value is 
if you started off at say uh, on the rigid tab the P portion was um, 35 is the value that I have here in this area right here R right over there then I've adjusted the real-time tuning you come look at the diagnose page if the final value that I end up using is 1.4 down here then you take that amount and you multiply it by the amount that's currently in there in this case it was 35 so you would just do the math and uh, 35 times 1.4 is 49 so you would come back over to the slider right here and you would adjust this value to be 49 45, 49, I guess this one goes in increments of 5 so you would just adjust it to that amount um, and then you would write that to the unit over here make sure you have your equal sign and then, and then you can actually go back in to the real-time tuning tab and now that you're done and you have that saved you just click quit assignment and then now it tells you that your uh, your current oh, I'm sorry you have to say okay that you want to quit and then once it's quit it comes back over here and tells you that you have nothing assigned anymore in the real-time tuning tab and that you're just back to using that for your tail gyro um, you can go back to diagnose and verify using your knob again that now all it's changing is your tail gyro channel if that's what you want or if you're completely done and you don't ever want to bump your knob uh, the knob that you're using on your radio then you can go back to the radio and let's say you don't have any more tail gyro to do uh, and you also don't have any more um, real-time tuning that you want to do then you could just change this value back to zero and then change this back to the two dashes and now you have nothing programmed there and the only way that you're going to change your tail gain then is using this screen here to change that number rather than having a knob that you can accidentally adjust uh, or maybe the kids pick up the radio and hit the button or something like that or the knob so this this is how you set your knob for tail tuning as well as real-time tuning on the Futaba 8FG with Heli Command HC3SX